from the Journal of Aphromos Long Journey, Pilgrim, with notes by Avos Tor, scholar of Reeve Library. Skull Day, 13th cycle, 7th year, 81st turn. I have reached the Far Downs this afternoon. There is scattered grass on the rolling hills, covering them like mold. The ground is firm and slightly damp beneath my feet. It is a little bit like the oases, or near the Trescu River, but it is also cool, even though it is afternoon. It is nice, I think, though I wonder what winters are like. Well, it gets cold in the desert. My robes are thick. If I become too cold, I will simply need to buy thicker ones. Note, despite their appearance, the borrowed nomads are warm-blooded. Indeed, they are very good at regulating their body temperatures, often learning to do so on a conscious level. In the distance, I can see a great darkness just over the horizon. At first, I believed it to be a storm. However, it hasn't moved all day. I think I may be seeing mountains. They say there are mountains beyond the Far Downs, where the wild trolls live. Wild trolls are large, nearly as big as I am, and supposedly tremendously strong, even compared to their cousins. I will need to plan my route carefully, once I have a clearer idea of where I can go from here. Hopefully the goat herds can tell me where to go and how to avoid their dangerous cousins. Notes. Far Downs. The Veridans Crest Range. A male mountain troll of the Veridans Crest subspecies generally attains a height of eight to nine feet. The females are somewhat larger. Where should I go? I still don't know. I could go to the cities in the east. Strong metals come from the east, and the tribe could certainly use the secret of that work. But does it need it? Or I could go to the north. They know powerful magics in the northlands, and there are certainly things that could benefit my people. But I am not a mage. Could I learn enough? Or I could circle the desert and learn the mysteries of the spirit. But neither am I a priest. I have spoken with my second father enough to know that. How can I separate which mysteries are valuable and which are not? At least I may ignore the West. There is nothing in that direction but ghosts and demons. I will learn nothing of value there. Note, as a Westerner, I hardly need mention that Aphromus was wrong about this, the Revision and Oversight Committee notwithstanding. <laughs>